Solving equations with algebraic fractions. Grade AA star GCSE, level 9 plus natural curriculum. And this is pretty much as hard as GCSE equations go. Um, I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The first way is to combine two fractions first. So to combine these two fractions, I need to find a common denominator. And the standard way of doing that is just to multiply the two bottom things together, two denominators together. So I've got two lots of x plus 1 and two lots of x plus 1. And when I multiply this fraction x over 2 by x plus 1, I get that. And this fraction was 2, and I'm multiplying that. So I've got 2 over the x plus 1. I'm times it by 2, so I've got 2 times 2, which is 4. So I end up with this, where I've got the same denominator, 2 lots of x plus 1. Multiply this bit out here, so I've got x squared plus x, and I'm taking away 4. Um, that's equal to 1. And then this is the sort of common part of both. I'm going to multiply this uh, bottom up to this side here. So I'm going to multiply throughout by the 2x plus 1. That leaves me with x squared plus x minus 4 equals 2 lots of x plus 1. And then this is going to be a common to both when we got, um, we'll get this on both of them. So we need to multiply this bracket, take it over to the left hand side, then solve it. So we've got x squared plus x minus 4 equals 2x plus 2. Take everything over to the left hand side. x squared, take away the 2x is minus x. Take away another 2 is minus 6, and that equals 0. I mean, to solve that, probably the best way, um, as it's non calculated it's going to be a factorizing. So what do, do I need to multiply to make 6? Well, I could do 1 times 6, or 2 times 3. And when I combine them, I'm going to get minus x. So one of them is positive, one of them is negative. The bigger of the two is negative, so, and they're one apart. So I'm going to have plus 2 and minus 3. Lots of different ways of, of working that through, but that's what you'll get eventually. When you multiply this out, 2 lots of x is 2x, and you've got minus 3x, which adds together to give you the minus x. Then plus 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. So x equals, when does this um, make this whole expression 0? When this bracket is 0, x is minus 2. Or x equals, when this bracket is 0, 3. So quite a long involved question there, combining the fractions, multiplying it up, rearranging it, factorizing the quadratic, getting two solutions. Okay, a slightly different starting point. Um, often I'll tell my students when you see a fraction, get rid of it. To get rid of a fraction, you multiply through by the denominator. So the first step could be to multiply through by this 2. So if I multiply this whole equation by 2, x over 2 times by 2, x over 2, times by 2, and the rest of it is also going to be times by 2, so I'm going to times this by 2, and I'm going to times the 1 by 2. So I'm going to end up this times by 2, this is the reason why I do this, is to get rid of this 2. So I have x. 2 times 2 is 4. When you multiply a fraction by a number, you just times the top. And when I times 1 by 2, I get 2. And then I'm going to multiply through by this x plus 1. So I'm going to do Use a different colour for that. I'm going to times this by x plus 1. I'm going to times this by x plus 1. I'm going to times this by x plus 1. Okay, so when I times this one by x plus 1, I get x lots of x plus 1. When I times this through by x plus 1, that's the reason why we're doing it, I get rid of that fraction, and I'm just left with 4. When I times this by x plus 1, I get 2 lots of x plus 1. And you will see, hopefully, when I multiply this out, I've got x squared, x times 1 is x, minus the 4. I actually end up with exactly the same expression that I had over here. And that then can be rearranged, multiply the bracket to get this, rearrange it to get the quadratic, factorise and solve. Um, I actually prefer most of the time to use this method, but sometimes this is better. Um, especially if you're trying to prove something, this is better. If I had to prove that um, this hand side, um, something cancels down to be the same as the right hand side, so it was an identity I was trying to prove, then I would probably use the combine of the fractions. If I'm trying to solve an equation, I tend to multiply through 
by the denominators to get rid of the fractions. And with a bit of practice, you can actually do this in one step. You just multiply through by the 2x plus 1 everything, and then you can get to the answer quite quickly. So there we go. Very complicated question. Um, it's actually worth four marks. I didn't actually have that on, the, on here. Four marks. Um, and lots of ways of getting the marks. Um, each step here probably is going to get you somewhere the marks. So um, getting a common denominator, combining or multiplying through and get rid of the denominators and then uh, rearranging to get the, the quadratic is probably going to get you at least two marks, probably three and one for getting the solutions. So there we go.